Hello everybody, my name is Anna K. Rule and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well, I hope your day and your week is going well. So I wanted to talk about a medication, it's actually called Adderall. Adderall is the, the trade name actually, the generic name is a combination medication of amphetamine and dextroamphetamine. So let me just tell you the indication so when you see a medication it says indication it means like why is it the why is the medication prescribed so adderall is a combination of dextroamphetamine and amphetamine so as i said those are the combination or the generic um drugs that make a medication and then adderall is the trade name and you have adderall xr as well xr is basically for extended release while Adderall is the regular medication that does not have that extended release time. And Adderall is used to treat as a part of a treatment program to control symptoms of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD. And for patients who have ADHD condition, they have more difficulty focusing, controlling actions, and remaining still or quiet than other people who are at the same age. And I know when we think of ADHD, we only think of um, children, but it's actually also common in adults as well. So we also have adult ADHD. So what I really wanted to draw your attention to was Adderall, and here's a pronunciation, is the information that we presented by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, regarding, you know, discoveries or research and changes to the medication. And this link is to the FDA website, which I'm going to post in the comment section as well. So you can always go on the website to review any medications you have. You know, there is always constant researching and based on, you know, patient report or consumer report of different symptoms or different condition, research was done at times and then they will develop or present findings based on this information. So back in 2017, one information that was presented was a they noted that there's a hypersensitivity reaction such as angioedema and anaphylactic reactions having reported in patients treated with other amphetamines. So the thing about it is I said, hypersensitivity is something where it's a condition where the body itself, the immune system reacts to whatever was introduced to it. So it's an allergic reaction. However, it uh, tends to affect the systemic approach. So, for example, angioedema is swelling of the face. Anaphylactic reactions could be mild to severe. So, for mild, you may have like hives or um, itching by the throat, but it can be as severe as uh, tying off the trachea, the, the airway, you know, inability to breathe, you know, death, which is a very drastic, um, um, mild, severe form of anaphylactic reactions. But it noted that when there was a combination of those products. Now, recently, 2022, and the highlighted section we said intestinal um, ischemia is something they noted, and that is really when the the stomach or the intestines, the blood supply is decreased to that area. So once there's a decrease in blood flow, then there's a decrease in regeneration of cells in that area. So that's how they noted with um, intestinal ischemia. The other effects, such as dryness of the mouth, unpleasant taste, diarrhea and constipation, GI disturbances, such as anorexia and weight loss, or what they describe as undesirable effects. Now, one of the things that I noticed, though, in a lot of um, younger children who take um, Adderall for ADHD is sometimes they may have weight loss or they may have a difficult time gaining or keeping weight. Because one of the things is that it does decrease the appetite. So if you know that your child is a picky eater, you will probably want to pack, you know, small meals for them, snacks through the day for them to eat, um, encourage, you know, for they like high calorie foods. So based on their age, you can talk to their doctor or their healthcare provider, talk to the nutritionist or dietitian to see if you can add stuff like avocado or, you know, high calorie food to their regular diet to improve or maintain weight. And I just wanted to show you the link so you can get familiar with the website. And um, so this is the website. And when you go, there's drug-related safety labeling changes. And the website is pretty consumer-friendly. Like the terms, I mean, you can always Google the terms, you know, but they tend to break the terms down. 
So these were the changes from back in 2017. And they spoke about contraindications. And those are really conditions which are discouraged in terms of uh, unfavorable situations where the medication should be used. And they have warnings and precautions. And that's where I got the information about the hypersensitivity from 2017 was a contraindication. So meaning that you would not take medications that have the same um, active ingredients such as Adderall. Um, they also spoke about drug interactions, like acidifying agents, um, drug blockers, alkalizing agents, tricyclic agent, um, antidepressants. Another thing that they spoke about, and this was in 2022, if you click here, it's going to expand. Um, that's where they talk about adverse reaction and additional or additions are underlined. And that was where we found the intestinal issue here. Alrighty. So I just wanted to share information with you for Adderall. Um, the other medication that we will explore, but I just wanted to share this one particularly with you. And also where you can find this information. If you go on to the FDA website, let's go back to the home. You know, you can search and type in medication. It will take you to the different things in the medication information for consumers. It will take you to the explanations, um, important warnings. So it's a pretty good website to get familiar with. And um, as I said, but also if you find something here that you're not sure about, you can always write the question down and go to your healthcare provider when you go to visit them and ask them or even your local pharmacist and ask them, you know, what does it mean when they use that term or what exactly are they referring to? And these are some references that were used. Alrighty, so this is Adderall presentation. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, be safe. Thank you for joining in or tuning in and be well. Thank you.